Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making the most adorable little coffin jewelry box or trinket box, whatever you want to use it for. It is perfect. I just got this in and I'm experimenting for the first time. Obviously, we're going to start with black mica powder and then I have this pigment that I just found and it's a purple red color and I've never seen anything like this before so I'm curious to check it out. I also have some black glitter, some fine glitter. So I'm going to be adding my black in first and I probably added too much. I have a habit of doing that but I definitely wanted it to be black. So I'm just getting all of this mixed in along with the little chunks. We don't want any little chunks stuck in there. So now I'm putting in my glitter, just a little touch, just to give it some shimmer. And now we're gonna do the purple red. Or maybe, I haven't even opened it yet. It hasn't been opened. So I'm gonna go cut that open and here we go. I wasn't sure if it was even going to show up because I had added so much black, but surprisingly, it did. You could just get that hint of that purple-red tint, and it worked out perfectly for this Halloween coffin. I mean, it's the perfect Halloween color. It's not purple, it's not red, it's not black, it's all of the above. So I was really surprised this cup, I think it's a four ounce cup, it filled the cup, I'm sorry, excuse me, it filled the coffin mold, this is the actual box part, it filled it up perfectly. So as soon as I was done with this, obviously I needed to go more, make more resin and I wanted the lid to be more of a purpley color. So I added less black. I had a little leftover resin from the lid, so I poured these little bats to go on top. And now it's time to demold. I ended up using six pumps each of the part A and part B to fill the lid. Um, started out with four pumps and it wasn't enough, so I had to go in with two more pumps. And I made the second pour for the lid a little bit darker um, not necessarily on purpose but you can see here that I just swirled it in gave it a little distressed look I guess and now my favorite part these little bats this color is amazing and they just it almost looks like they're glowing on top of the lid there so I used UV resin to glue them on, and I love it. I hope you guys love it too. Thanks for watching, and I hope everyone has a safe and happy Halloween.